is there's new developments in that massive hacking attack of Equifax. Equifax is reportedly now blaming a flaw in its vendor software for a data breach that has affected 143 million Americans. This unfolding after three top executives at the credit reporting company sold nearly $2 million worth of stock. This is before they announced this data breach to the public. Joining me now, Robert Siciliano, CEO of IDTheftSecurity.com. Robert, uh, <laughs> uh, before we get into these guys selling the stock and, and all of that, let's talk about how this happens at a firm that is uh, that uh, that we have given the American public 143 million our social security number our our our, our addresses uh, yeah our driver's license information we've given this them this information how do they allow it to be taken like this? Yeah, this is turning into a dumpster fire. Um, the fact that they are responsible for protecting identities and in fact uh, selling identity theft protection. And now this is probably the single largest breach of social security numbers ever. Uh, and now they're giving away their identity theft protection for free with the option to buy it over time. Uh, it's really ugly and should have never happened. Well, apparently a year ago, there was a firm, MCI, uh, MSCI, that said uh, they put out a report saying, hey, uh, there's, some, there's some problems here with this company. Uh, in fact, data from a, a large company with 430,000 employees uh, they lost some of their tax information, some of their salary information. They sort of sounded the alarm, and yet the criticism of this company, which is a multi-billion dollar company, is that they overpaid executives, uh, they spent lavishly on themselves, and they did not invest in, in the adequate uh, structure to keep our information safe. Is, is that something that you see often with respect to these companies? You know, officers at these companies that um, essentially living high in the hog, that face uh, major breaches such as this uh, often find themselves unemployed when things like this happen because once you um, uh, put the microscope on them you start to see exactly uh, what the corporate culture is and how flawed things are internally uh, stuff like this should not happen in this day and age there are so many respectable vendors out there providing solutions to make sure that uh, networks are not breached and by following basic following basic protocol should prevent most data breaches at this point robert how do we the consumer know uh, which companies are actually uh, doing the quote unquote right thing with our information is there any way to know so ultimately there really isn't I'm sorry to say. Consumers cannot trust government. They cannot trust uh, corporations to solely protect their information. They really are, it really is up to themselves to make sure that their data is properly protected, even though it's out of their hands. Right. But there are basic things that you can and should do to make sure that this doesn't happen to you. The really the best thing that consumers can do right now is to get what's called a credit freeze. And a credit freeze locks down your credit report and your social security number so that nobody can open up new lines of credit without your authorization. Simply go to all three major credit bureaus, search the term credit freeze in their search bar, and you'll go to the page right, where Robert, you begin to administrate. That is great, great information for us, and I, we really appreciate it. Thank you so much. Thank you.